Okay, so I'm just going to show you how you can now create your own breakout rooms and assign students to breakout rooms before the lesson. So I've gone to zoom.us, which is the main website, um, and then I've clicked on meetings here to show my upcoming meetings that I have scheduled on my calendar. Um, so I'm just going to go along and find one that uh, matches. Now, annoyingly, it does, uh, doesn't does seem to do them um, in a, a very logical order, so you may have to hunt around a little bit um, to find the meeting that you're interested in. Um, once you do, just click on it here. Um, and, now, and now what we're going to do is we're going to assign students to the breakout rooms using their email addresses. So one of the things that we want to do is, first of all, force students to sign in. So we're going to click on Edit so that we're changing it. Um, and then when we go down here where it says Require Authentication to Join, we need to tick that so that it's switched on. And then we're going to edit it and we're going to remove the parents.gardenschool.edu. Um, now the reason for that is a lot of students are signing in with their FAM accounts. Obviously students shouldn't have their FAM account passwords, but some of them do seem to have them. Um, and that's not going to work if, they, if we're assigning students based on their um, GIS account. They're in this meeting, that's where we can do the uh, breakout room pre-assign. So I'm going to tick on that. Um, and then you've got two different options. You can create the rooms in here. Um, so we could just go breakout room one and then you could type in the participants using their email addresses. Personally, I find that really, really tricky. So instead, what you can do is click here and do import from CSV. When you do that, you have the option to download a template, um, which is going to be a CSV file. So we can open that CSV file. Um, on the Mac, it will open up in pages and it's going to give you something that looks a little bit like this. So here you can see it says pre-assign room name and then your email addresses. So again, not very helpful yet. So what we now need to do is get a list of student email addresses. Now you may have lots of different methods to do this. I'm just going to show you one. Um, one easy way is go into the Google Classroom for your uh, group and then just pick any assignment that you've given them. Um, it does have to be an assignment done through classwork um, where the students have answered something. So here's one here where I said some graph practice. So if I click on to this task and go to view assignment, um, there's, this, there's a clever little cog here and then you can choose copy all marks to Google Sheets. The reason that you want to do that is this is an easy way of getting all the student email addresses. There are other things that you can do using Sims and Edulink, um, but this is the one that I find easiest. So in here, I'm just going to copy, so Command C, my uh, list of names, and then I'm going to put it into that numbers document, like this. So now I have my list of uh, email addresses. So probably the easiest way to do this now is to insert a, a column. So add a column before, and then you can go through and just assign them to whichever room you want. So obviously that's probably not how I'd really want it in real life, but that'll do. Um, and then all I need to do is copy and paste the rooms into one column the email addresses into another, paste them. And then I'm just going to delete the spares. And now I should be able to save this. Now I'm going to need to save it as a CSV. The easiest way to do that is to go export to and then choose CSV. Go to next. And I'm going to call this, uh, I would think it was for a 13A, so 13A breakout rooms and save that. Then I'm going to jump back to my Zoom settings where I have my edit meeting and then I can browse them in here and in here it's created one that says sheet one 
Let's try that. First one hasn't worked, let's just try a different one. And there we go, we can see it's imported that with the email addresses and the room numbers there. So I just hit save and then save again. And now what I'll find is when I actually go into the uh, meeting, the students will be pre-assigned in those breakout rooms.